The bases I make with Plasticard are quite often mistaken for something a bit more impressive than they really are, with people frequently asking how I make them. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my general approach and hopefully inspire you to try something similar for yourself. Although I normally paint these bases for Blackstone Fortress, you could easily adapt this method into doing other bits, like the urban themed base from my concrete texture video, or this Necron marble tomb scheme that I've been playing with. If you find this guide useful, please let me know with a like. If these bases look appealing, subscribing and ringing your bell would be a pretty good way of being informed of future content too. I take a sheet of plastic card, which I understand is sometimes called styrene, and cut the shape of my base from it. I find the simplest way to go about this is flip the base over, draw around it with a sharp pencil, and then roughly cut it from the sheet with a craft knife. I then plot out any panels that I want. As the aesthetics of Blackstone Fortress are pretty heavily themed around triangles, I typically slide this sheet of tessellating triangles underneath and pick out whatever pattern I want. You could of course use any shape or pattern you desire, but I would recommend keeping it relatively simple to make cutting and gluing them as easy as possible. Then. I cut the pieces out and begin to glue them to the base. I would recommend starting with the biggest piece and fitting everything around it, leaving a gap of a couple of millimetres between the pieces. You will end up with a bit of overhang, but we will sort this out later. For the best possible look, try to keep the gaps the same distance along the edge, fine tuning their exact position as you go before the glue dries. If you are building an urban theme base or something a little less uniform, you may want to rough up the edges with a craft knife or even cut small chips out of them. I would also recommend a thicker sheet of plastic card to really sell the idea of stone slabs or concrete. Once the glue is completely dry, I trim down the edges with my craft knife. I then flip the base upside down, cut off large overhanging pieces and run my knife around the rim to shave down the smaller bits, repeating these steps until I'm completely happy. You could avoid having to do this by cutting out the initial shape of the circle cutter, like this one I got from Amazon, and then just cut out the gaps you want to leave. I, however, prefer the method I've done for this larger base. You don't end up with a little hole in the middle of the base either. To really sell the effect of a lived-in environment, I like to chuck a little debris and an occasional feature onto these bases. For these two, I just popped a few small patches of superglue and stuck down some small cat litter rocks and a sprinkle of sand. If you are looking for more ideas for basing materials, you may want to take a look at my simple miniature basing video. I cover most of the materials I typically use there. Now my bases are ready for priming and painting. For these Blackstone Fortress bases, I prime with a Chaos Black spray and then paint a thin layer of Abaddon Black over the top. I use Abaddon afterwards to ensure I'm getting a nice uniform colour over the entirety of the base. I can then do seamless touch-ups later if needed. Regardless of the theme you choose, it's important to both define the edges clearly and shade the recesses if you're working on pretty much any colour but black. I start by easing the transition from black to my first highlight colour by glazing a mix of the two towards the edges. I then work my way up through the colours, highlighting smaller and smaller the brighter I go, eventually finishing with a dot of off-white on the corners. I like to do a thin edge highlight of my first highlight colour around the edges too. As Blackstone Fortress isn't as topical as it used to be, I will spare going through every element of how I highlight these edges. If you want to know more, be sure to check out my How to Improve Your Edge Highlighting Easily video. In this video, I show you the four stage technique I tend to rely upon. With the rest of the details painted, we now have some pretty nice looking bases, made with a simple method that can easily be adapted to a theme of your choosing. In addition to the environment shown in this video, I could see industrial bases or alien ships with vibrant colours coming out nicely too. Do you have any other ideas of how this simple method could be adapted? If so, let me know with a comment, I'd love to hear them. I'm also very interested in what you would like to see in future videos, so please let me know any and all suggestions. If I feel like I can put something useful together, I will gladly do a video for popular requests. You can find a full written guide for painting this base in the description below. In there, there's also links to my social media presences and all the other typical YouTuber gum. So please check that out if you're interested. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, take care and enjoy your hobby. Bye-bye.